Hey there, everyone. How you doing? Jeff C. here. It is uh, Friday, January the 9th, and um, this whole thing that happened in uh, Paris. Now, you know, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm almost self-censoring myself when I start to talk about it because I know right away that this video will probably get flagged. Um, you know, we're on YouTube. This is where it is, right? But I'm going to try to speak freely, and this is my opinion. So, you know, the Google the Google community or whatever that uh, <laughs> might want to listen into this and flag this video. Better listen to um, freedom of speech and understand that we should all be entitled to our opinions. And once that is no longer the case, then we might as well just throw everything that we've, our ancestors have fought for away because uh, then there is no um, freedom whatsoever to speak of. So off of the uh, hoax central, people are going on about this. I heard about it first last night and... This is sad. Another Mossad victim, police chief uh, Herlich Fredo, uh, investigating Charlie Hebdo commits suicide or murder case. So the guy that was one of the, well, the police commissioner who is um, one of the main guys investigating this obvious hoax has died mysteriously by his own revolver. This is a photograph of this guy. I really feel sorry for him and his family. It's a dangerous game, folks. And um, if this guy was onto something that um, may have given him the inclination that this thing was staged, and maybe he was about to speak out about it, and they came and got him who knows okay so just after uh, just over a year after uh, Herlich Fredon uh, discovered the lifeless body of a third ranking police officer SRPG of Limoges uh, the second ranking service officer has committed suicide yesterday at his workplace with his service weapon we learned this morning uh, a commissioner Herlich Fredon SRPG uh, Limoges has committed suicide last night with his service uh, weapon. I'm sorry I had to read that twice, but that's the way this article is written. Information confirmed by his superiors. Uh, it is known, and I imagine this is a translation sort of thing, so it's not the best English. It is unknown at this time the reasons for his actions. He would have killed himself that night or in the early hours of the morning, so nobody was there to witness it, basically. The commissioner, Herlich Fredo, uh, age 45 years, was from Limoges, began his career in 1997 as a police officer in the regional office of uh, office, the Judicial Police of Versailles before returning to Limoges. Um, he was deputy director of the regional police service since 2012. His father was a former police officer. His mother was a nurse in the emergency context SHU Limoges. He was single and had no children. Um, according to the police union, commissioner was depressed and experiencing burnout. In November 2013, the commissioner, uh, Fredo, had discovered the lifeless body of his colleague, the third-ranking police officer, I said that before, and who had committed, and uh, so he was also 44 years old, so, uh, you know, a very sad sort of story. The commissioner, Fredo, like all agents of the SRPG, worked yesterday on the case of the massacre at the headquarters of Charlie Hebdo. In particular, he surveyed the family of one of the victims. He killed himself before completing its report. A psychological cell was set up in the police station. You know, I'm going to jump the conclusions, folks, but you know, you got police commissioners dying that are investigating this thing. You know, a day after it happens, you know, and it's an obvious hoax, folks. It's an obvious hoax, and there's so much that people are uncovering that we have already uncovered um, doing the work and doing the podcast and all that that would, you know, blow this thing wide open and if people are dying that tells you how serious it is so uh, I really feel sorry for this guy and his family I mean, if, if that's the case he might have been an honest guy and, you know, got caught over his head and they killed him and it's easy to do that, right? I mean, nobody's around you know, um, shoot him in the head and put the gun in his hand sort of thing. They know how to do these things. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to say, I don't know. Maybe he committed suicide. Maybe he was so depressed by what he had saw. Maybe he committed suicide because he saw that uh, this thing was fake and that it was a hopeless sort of, 
you know, horrible conundrum that he couldn't get himself out of. I don't know. But uh, it's very suspicious that he, he dies like a day later after the whole thing kind of happened. So, and especially since he's investigating, especially since he was uh, doing interviews with one of the family victim family members, did he find out something? Did he find out something that wasn't true? And was he killed because of it? Give me your opinions below. Thanks a lot.